Hi guys! Welcome back to our channel. My name is Barry from Barbell Ever After and today we're gonna talk about questions that you need to ask when you're planning to apply for a student visa in Australia. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please make sure that do click that subscribe button so that whenever we publish a new video on our YouTube channel you'll get notified and you'll be able to watch it as soon as possible. The international student visa in Australia is such a big thing because next to mining and agriculture that's where they get the economy boost for the entire country. So many students from overseas choose Australia because it rewards them after their they finish their courses with points so that they could stay longer or they could apply for PR after. Aside from that, Australia also is a multicultural country so it's easy for foreign students to come here and then meet new friends, spend time with foreign nationalities, learn from each other. And as a migrant person myself, I believe that Australia is accepting when it comes to foreigners. So it's such a nice place to choose if you decide to apply for a international visa in Australia. The weather also in Australia plays a big part because it's really such a nice place to stay, study, and then upgrade your skills and then maybe apply for a permanent resident visa when you finish and so without further ado let's discuss about the questions that you need to ask before you apply for a student visa in australia guys just a disclaimer i am telling you that i am not a professional migration agent and everything that you will hear on this video are information that's also available online or through my personal experiences so if you're seeking professional advice we suggest that you contact a MARA registered migration agent so that they could help you plan and process your visa application okay guys I think the most important question that you need to ask before even start your plans to apply for a student visa in Australia is what course is best for you to take. When you study in Australia, there are a lot of options for you. You can either take a bachelor degree or a postgraduate course, or even if you want to do your PhD, you can also do it here. But you need to ask which one is most appropriate for you. Depending on your own educational background, it should tell you what to take in Australia. For example, if you're an, you are an undergraduate in your home country and you haven't had a bachelor degree before, you could plan and apply for a bachelor degree course in Australia. If you're someone who has work experience and has the degree for a certain occupation, you may choose to find or research about doing an MBA course in Australia. So another important factor when choosing a course is what are the pathways for you after you take this course? Like does Australia recognize this occupation or the course that you are taking up for future migration in Australia? you can ask those questions as well also if you plan to take the course make sure that it's a progression from your current educational background so you can't be a an MBA degree holder and then try to apply for a like diploma or a certificate course in Australia because it's like a downgrading of your previously earned qualification already so if you would like my advice I would say that you should progress to a higher level of education from what you currently have so what do you need if you want to apply for a student visa in Australia so there are some requirements and I could mention a few you should at least pass the English test that is required for your course also you need to provide proof of funds so that when you make an application you are able to prove that you can afford to study in Australia one important factor as well when applying for a student visa is to be able to prove a case officer processing your student visa that you will come back to your home country once you finish your visa. The next question to ask is where to study in Australia. Alright guys, there are so many places, big cities, small cities where you can choose to study in Australia. So whatever your plan is with regards to why are you studying in Australia, this is the factor that usually determines your options about which places to go for. For example, if you are someone who likes to live in big cities or 
you're used to the city life, you can choose between the big cities in Australia like Melbourne, Sydney. If your plan is to stay in Australia in the future or maybe practice the skills that you obtained in Australia, you'll have to check which states or which cities or regions in Australia will provide you with more points or extra advantage so that when you finish that course, you'll be able to progress post-study work experience program or if in case you want to apply for a PR, you may choose an area or a state in Australia that will give Give you further extra points when you apply for a permanent resident visa later. Currently, regional study is also very popular because Australia is trying to reduce the number of people living in big cities. So what they're doing is they're giving extra points for those who study in regional areas. I will post a link down below of the regional areas in Australia where you could target so that you know what advantages they will provide for you when you study there. Okay guys? Okay, this question is very important as well because this is like the hit or miss or this will determine if you really are capable to study in Australia. So you have to ask what are the costs, all right? What are the expenses that you need to prepare for when planning to apply for a student visa in Australia? You should research what are the expenses that you need to have funds prepared before even applying to study in Australia. So. The basic costs that I remember or I, I know are English test expenses and then also you have to provide some down payment for your tuition fees. You should also pay for the certificate of enrollment that you need to be able to apply for a visa. And also, in general, you should research how much is the actual cost for your study. So, um, you should prepare funds that are ready for your tuition fee, for your living expenses, as well as your transport costs. So, you should include that, like airfare from your home country to Australia and back. You should be able to calculate how much is it that you need to prepare so that once you launch your visa, student visa application for Australia, you have enough proof of funds or you have, you have prepared enough money to be able to be approved for a student visa in Australia. Guys, just a reminder. And, uh, if you are planning to come to Australia on a student visa and let's say your aim is to earn money, I would say that it's gonna be really hard because if you are a student visa holder in Australia, you can only work for a maximum of 40 hours in a fortnight. So that's about 20 hours per week during your school um, period. So if you're studying, you can only work up to 20 hours per week. And then the competition for student visa jobs is quite stiff, very, very competitive. So make sure that when you study, when you plan to study in Australia, you have enough funds to cover for your expenses so that when you start your course in Australia, you don't have to rely on working to be able to pay for your tuition fees and all your living expenses it's gonna be hard I'm telling you guys it is gonna be hard and very difficult for you if you plan to provide for your tuition fees by working unless you could find a really good job that would allow you to work 20 20 hours and then you could still earn big money that would be good but just make sure that when you plan to study in Australia your source of income would not be based only or dependent on working here in Australia because it's gonna be hard guys okay next question is do I hire a student agency or I just do it by myself guys I know a lot of people who has done it before they just did DIY they did it themselves with regards to processing for a student visa and also lodging it online this is okay this is good and acceptable because most of the details about the processes are online anyway if you are someone who knows how to research and follow specific instructions that you could find online you can do it it's alright the advantage of having someone that will guide you and will like, provide you with information that you need to, to apply for a student visa in Australia like a student migration agency is that they could provide for you more options so that um, they could cater to what it is that you want to achieve why you want to study in Australia for example if you hire a, a student migration agent or student visa agent they will provide for you the list of schools the list of courses and suggest for you which best pathway to take to be able to achieve your goals so but guys be careful as well so when you deal with student migration agents you should check that they are registered and then also you can research for the feedback from people who have used them before or who have hired them before um, as sad as it 
resume or B, there are also people out there that are you know looking to scam you or looking just to earn some commission income from you so you got to be very careful okay and I could also say this there are student migration agency that do not charge you for processing fee well how come like how can they do this usually they tie up with schools and then when they get accredited or they come up with an agreement with these schools and you they refer students to these schools they get the commissions from the school so um, it is true there are student migration agents out there that do not charge you for processing fee aside aside from the visa application fees the, the language test and your own personal um, passport expenses and all they do not charge you for this okay so we will also I will also post a link below about a student migrant agent that I know who processes visas who helps students without processing fees okay so guys I will post the link below so have a look at the description okay guys one question to ask as well when you're planning to apply for a student visa in Australia is you should ask is the school that you're planning to study at is reputable okay guys here in Australia at the moment there are so many colleges universities and schools so you gotta be very careful which one to choose I have seen so many students in Australia who have suffered because schools that they've enrolled at closed in like one or two years and then some of these schools that they've also enrolled have been um, penalized by the government for not following the laws recovering this um, education in Australia so be very careful you must do your own research and also look up online for feedbacks from their current and former students and just make sure that when you choose the school it has a history of being a trusted reliable and reputable education institution so that when you do come and study in that school you will not regret it you will not be in a bad situation and you will just continue your study in Australia and hopefully achieve your plans to come in. That's it guys. Those are the questions that I believe are important to ask when you are planning to apply for a student visa in Australia. There are a lot more questions that you need to ask yourself or someone or research online so that if you do decide to continue processing for a student visa in Australia, you have all the information that you need to come up with the best decision because studying in Australia, guys, it's a big thing. It's going to be a life changer for you. So make sure that when you do decide that you want to go you are fully prepared of what to expect when you come to Australia as a student visa holder so um, if you have any more questions you can post them on the comment section below I will try my best to answer them or find out the answer for your questions guys um, it is our aim it is our advocacy to be able to help um, people like um, single people or families to have more information about how to migrate to Australia how the migrant life migrant life in Australia is so just post your questions if I'm not able to answer them I will try to find someone that could answer them for you and hopefully you'll be able to get insights about life in Australia how to migrate to Australia so that you could make an informed decision for yourself and your family when you come and migrate to Australia Okay guys, so also if I could request for you to subscribe to our channel, give it a thumbs up and share it to your family and friends, that would be awesome. Thank you guys, that's it. See you for the next video. Bye-bye, all the best.